SQL tool that we use to get insights on our data. So who can use Excel? Anyone can use Excel. Whether you are doing uh you are in healthcare, you're in manufacturing, you're in uh, a business environment whatever area that you are excel is very very useful for it even if it's teaching excel is a very useful for you so um what can we use excel for we use it for analytics we use it to get insights from our data so what is data in its, in its own sense so data is raw information for example if i say name is um this is an information this is raw information now excel can be used as a tool to get insights from our data of course name require makes no literal sense until i have like a couple of other information like um, let's say age 13 um, exactly something like that a combination of those raw data makes meaningful sense so in this lesson we are going to be talking about we're going to familiarize ourselves with excel environment and then we're going to use excel environment and tools to get insight from data so i'm just going to get rid of this right now and i'm going to explain what you have on your screen i'm going to assume that you don't know anything on excel before so i'm just going to teach you like this is the basics and everything so each of this box right here you see this box is is called a cell so each of these is called a cell and a cell is a combination of a column and a row mm -hmm. So this is a, a, a row. A row is a uh, is vertical. The vertical axis. The column is the horizontal axis. Okay. So um, the cell. Each cell has a name. So just like I said, said a row and a column. So the intersection of that row and column is a cell. But each cell has its own name. Just like you have your own surname and. Um, um, your first name so excel has its own surname and first name also so the surname of this the surname and first name of this cell is written at the top corner here so this is column h row nine so this is the surname and the first name of this cell now there's no duplicate in cell cell reference so this now if you want to make reference to this particular cell here you have to impute h9 now no two cell bear the same name that means you cannot find any h9 anywhere else in this excel notebook again it's unique each cell is unique to itself there's no duplicate name elsewhere now now that we have that figured out we know that each of these is a cell and we know that we have columns and rows so if you move to the far right of your screen if you move to the far right of your screen you discover that it's the the there are lots of columns to work with and if you move down your excel you see that you have tons of rows also to work with Now, that being said, let's talk about every other thing that is at the top. Now, before we talk about that, let's look at this side of the screen. This is sheet one. Now, as we go on, we're going to start working with multiple sheets. So, to create multiple sheets, we click on this plus sign here. Okay. And then you get sheet two. Click on this, and then you get another one. So, to edit this, we can double click this. And then we can then say let's say 
Uh, we change the name. Exactly. This is sheet one or. So you can change the name of this or you can even right click on it if you don't want to double click let's say you want to perform other functions rather than edit the name you can right click here and then you can do some other things you can add color to it mm -hmm. so it's gonna name this uh let's, let's make this blue so you can see now this is blue i'm gonna right click again i can protect these sheets i can view a lot of things we're gonna talk about all of that later so you can also add another sheet from here so when you click on this this has a sh just a sheet before that lesson one so it adds a sheet before that current sheet can you see sheet four is before lesson one now yeah so this is adding a sheet before this so if i also right click i can delete a sheet i can move or copy a sheet so let's say I, I feel like this lesson one should be maybe somewhere here i can right click hold it i'm holding it right now so right just hold it make it click on this cell on the sheet number on the sheet name drag it and then put it elsewhere can you see so you can you can just drag it and then put it exactly so you can move around their sheets in that manner so when I also right click on it, I can also do some other things like um, delete, insert a new sheet, copy and protect sheet. Let's say that this sheet contains vital information that I don't want ev just everybody to have access to, but only people that I give the password to, then I can protect the sheet. And then can you see this uh, protect sheet column something something, can you see this? So I can add some yes, other okay. things here. I can lock the cell, which means that anybody I share this cell with or share this sheet with will not be able to make any any modification. Exactly. So you want to select locked cells. So you should want to let them lock some cells. So let's say you have a particular formula somewhere and you don't want people to be able to edit it. You can put a password and lock that cell. So you can format your cells, your columns, you can format your rows, insert columns and stuff like that. So if there's any one of these that you want to lock, you can select it here and then lock it. So whoever is going to have access to the worksheet can see it, but will not be able to make edit, uh, edit based on the uh, condition that you have stipulated there. Yes. Can we proceed? Yeah. So now that's that about this side. Now this other side of the window. Can you see this? Yes, I can. This one is the normal format. The first one is normal format. The second one gives you a divided um window. So you have different parts it partitions your screen for you so you can see now okay so, so you divide the screen. cells from a to wherever it ends yeah it's it's so just it's like different parts it's partitions it into seven uh what's it called seven columns sections seven columns yes so but the last one gives you a very small part of the cell of the sheet sorry oh. the sheet so this one partitions it for you so if you want to print out something out okay, this is the first page this is going to be the first page so let's say you want to print okay. something and you only want it to be on just one page this is how it's going to look like this is what you need to walk around okay okay so okay, yeah and then this other one this um process the uh, progress bar you can use this to zoom in and zoom out okay i'm going to go back to yeah. the first one okay yeah yeah at the top screen you have home insert control page layout 
So let's talk about each of this. Let's, let's try to look at each of this. So the first, the first part of this is the home, which is currently selected. You have home. This mm -hmm. place is a, is a place where you can have your a shortcut. Yeah. Time, there is a particular uh, tool that you, you found um, um, very handy. You can add it to your shortcut. You can see that this one has. <coughs> this one has paste, cut, copy, and paint format. And here you have your uh, format. You can format your text, put in increase or reduce um, your, your font size. This too also does pretty much the same thing. Yeah. Bold, italic, underline. This is your cell border. This is your. Okay. Um, background color color text yeah, this is your font color and this is the alignment section where you can align your text yeah. Yeah, top alignment top right align to the top to the middle and the bottom and then mm -hmm. side, you can also align your text to the left mm -hmm. to the middle to the center and mm -hmm. to the right and this one is used to remove spaces in between so you can indent you can reduce indents and then you can in increase indents so you can shift mm -hmm. the text to the right hand side or left hand side whichever one you, you want to and then you can also reduce it so and this one is used to to create an angle for your data let's say you want to you want your data to be slant to come in a particular version or something you can play around with and i feel like this one is going to be so useful in itself it's much more useful in um in microsoft work but you know, you never can oh. so you have that text that text can be used to ensure that the, the text fits into um one cell for example if i write click away okay i have everything fit in so let's see again now by the time i hit enter you can see that it's not showing everything so if i want this to be showing the button it's not showing the entire thing now let's see let's just change this little bit This is fitting into another column, right? Yes. Is either I stretch this, mm -hmm. or I just come down right here and wrap the text. Now, if I click on this cell again, and then I click on wrap the text, it. So you can see now. Oh, okay. Yeah, it is how this one is done. Yeah. I've been wondering how. <laughs> So you can see now that it automatically fits into it increases the size and then it fits into mm, the box let's say that's not what i want to do i want to shrink the text to fit okay. you can see that it's going oh. to reduce very tiny the class is going to reduce the size of that text i'm just going to click this one okay are you good to go? Yes. You also have mag and center. So mag and center is used to also um, merge columns and rows together. So you can merge mag and center. Let's say you want to write a text there. And um, you don't want it to be having this um, line in between. Just come back here. Imagine and center. So it merges the stars together. The only thing you right now to be in the middle. So this is the title page. Hey. 
can see now that it's in the middle. Mm. So we can also do image across. So image across is also let me just show you that. Image across is just going to merge everything. So but then when you type in something, it's going to be from the beginning. So this let me see. This is the Yeah. It's going to match the cells together, but then when I start editing, it's going to say, uh, sorry, I'm sorry. Yes, can see. So it's basically yeah. not, it's not fitting it into. It's just going to match the cell, but it's going to start from the beginning when you're texting. So this part, last part, is to undo what you've done. No. So if I want to say undo this, you can see this goes back. If I want to say undo this again. This goes back. Um, so we can do this. This goes back. Do you understand? Mm. And then put it together. And then say this. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? But what's the difference? Because I'm saying the match is only matching across the column. Uh, yeah. And the cells are not changing from. It's like it starts from when the where the cell is matched from from like the g stem is start matching from so it then change when you match across a i d k you do what when i match across h i d k no. yes yeah, so it the name the name didn't change from g to any other thing like add h to k c it's not going to. It's just going to pick the first cell as the cell reference. Okay. Do you understand? You're expecting me to say G to K, right? As the cell reference, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's just going to yeah. pick the first cell as the cell reference. Okay. Are we together now? Yes. So, any other question? Not really. Um, and the match and the match across and match cells. What's the difference? So basically, it's the same thing. Match across yes. is going to match everything, right? Match cell is going to also be the same. There's no difference. Okay. I've got another question. Okay. So here, format. You can change the format of your text. You come right here. You have general, which is usually the default. Currency. Mm -hmm. You can with um, uh, currency or money or something. Mm -hmm. Accounting, which is also basically mm -hmm. the same. You have dates if you are working with short dates or long dates. You have time if you are working with time data type. Have percentage if you're working with um, fraction, you have scientific, you have text. So, if you ever feel like any of this format doesn't do the trick, just click on more number format, and then you can come back right here and create your own format. Uh, format. Okay, yes, so we also have a bit of this here. We have the currency, we have percentage, we have um, decimal, so we can reduce and increase decimal points. So here, on this side of the screen, you have <coughs> condition, conditional formatting. You can decide to um, format some cells or tables, uh, the bars, data bars, columns, um, the color squares, and um, you can also, if any one of these fits your data, you can decide to create your own view. And then when you click on create your own view, you can decide what you want to create, whether you want 
the particular color somewhere and uh, you want to highlight the particular color um, value when it's when the lowest value is this or the highest value is this so in between it will pick the ones that fall into it and it will pick it let's say the, the lowest is yeah it will not create different shades of color until you get to the maximum which is yellow so you can create your own you can click any of this color and if one of this color just click for you you can click you can click on okay. so more color gives you this color view where you can pick from okay yes so you can okay. so you can okay. okay. so you can okay. so you can okay. so you can 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 so you you can so the standard effect of your arrangement in column can raise and then add a little bit of color to there. So if you don't like what this looks like, you can create your new table style and then add your own condition there. Okay? Oh, yes. I love that. Now, that being said, the cells that also does pretty much the same thing just like the first one is set to the table format this one is cell format okay. so now using normal you can decide to choose any of these so this cell format is only going to affect just the cell not the entire table that is okay well, I'm not, I think there was a cell last. I said this is only going to affect the cell that you click on as the active cell. Oh. It's going to affect the entire worksheet. Okay. For example, if I click on this, I click on the cell style, and then I click on the cell. Can you see? Yes, I can see it. Yeah. So you have some other tools here. Insert, delete, and delete. Mm -hmm. So insert is just to insert your rules, your columns, and then your sheet tool. So you have delete, which is opposite of what insert does. It removes it, and then you have format. So format allows you to edit the configuration of what you're seeing right now so you can mm -hmm. increase your real height you can also fit your real height mm -hmm. you can also manipulate your column width and then the other one so hide them and unhide so you can hide a particular sheet or uh, columns okay. so you can change your tab color Right now, my top color doesn't have any color. If I decide to put it in, let's see, red for something. Let's see. Uh -huh. Let's change this. Uh -huh. Can you see it? No. Can you see my question? Oh, yeah, yeah, I've seen it. So, if I come back here again, I'm going to click on top color. Okay, so we Yes, I can see. Okay. I was just trying to show you so you can see that it actually changes. Yeah. One down select. Oh, Are you also checking from your end? Yeah, I'm checking from my end. Yes. Okay, let me know what I done.
Okay. Hmm? Why is it out of here? I didn't hear you. I thought you were saying something. No, I was not saying anything. I was just listening for you. Are you done? Yes. Okay. So this part right here is a, a short code for formulas. We only have our four formulas here. Some average count numbers, max, minimum, more function. Mm -hmm. So you can pick this. And then you can also move down your sheet and the cross and stuff like that. But you know, um you can always use your arrow key for this. So we have flash oh, yeah. fill. We're going to talk about flash fill. Uh, flash fill. Yeah, Filling the cells and co the columns and rows automatically, right? Yeah, yes. Mm. You know about that? I know about it, but I don't know how to do it automatically. Okay, well, I need to start working on flash fill. When we have data, when we populate our Excel with data, we can uh, look on that. So let's quickly do one of those now. So let's say we have um, let's say So I'm going to say, let's say, um, Tuesday. Yeah. Okay, can you see this? Yes. Okay. So I can fill this up. This is actually auto fill. And I can fill this up with the other remaining days of the week. If I just click on this, it changes the mouse. Can you see the mouse is now where is this small plus sign? Mm. So I can pull this down and then it fills the other days of the week. Yeah. You can see I have my auto fill option here. So I can click on this now. You can see fill series, format only, fill without format, fill days, fill days. Flash view. Now, if I want to just highlight this again, just click on this. Just going to create something again. Just going to copy this. Just going to do this first. Copy this. I have this. I have flash view. So, if if I want to just pull this down again. You can see that, that bit, that's actually filling it up again. Yeah. Um, so if I want to have, let's say, um, I have data attributed to all of this, I can decide to create a visualization for my data. So if I say, click on this now, see with that format, click this, click this. So you can see now that it has automatically changed and then it has filled my weekdays from Mondays to Sundays to you can see. Right? Monday. Monday. Okay, Thursday. Thursday. Thursday, Friday. You can see now that it's, it's changing. 
so I, I don't want that. I just want to see if it has changed back again. See if it was it was a Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So before it was, it was just scattered. So I just used that one to fill the days in the right order. Right? Okay. Yeah. Okay, so if you just read this, you can see I have uh Monday, Thursday, Friday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. This is just feeling abnormally. But then when I undo that, I can just see that returns to the plus to return to back to when it used to be. Okay. So that's that's that on plus view. So you can also sort from ascending order to descending order at sort A to Z, descending order to ascending order at uh, Z to A. You can have a custom sort of order. So if I right click, if I right click on this and I come down here, I see custom sort. So I need to put in uh, the parameters I want it to create from. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we have find and select. This is always very very handy. You can look for something. You can look for let's say Monday. And it tells me where Monday is. I can replace Monday with some other day. But I don't want to do that. So, um, if you go on to insert, you have pivot table. So, pivot table is used to get the summary of your data. You have recommended pivot table, which is being recommended by itself. So, let's say you don't know which of the table columns would match for your summary. You can click on recommended pivot table and it will do that for you automatically. Mm -hmm. So, you have table here. Table here is used to convert your table to your data to a standard Excel format, which is in table format. Mm -hmm. So we have one picture here is used to import your picture. Okay. We have pictures, you can also have pictures, shapes, icons, and some other things that you can use here. So this is particularly useful. You can see I can also record my Excel using this Excel um, recording here. So mm -hmm. I have get add-ins or add my add-ins. So my add-ins is an external plugin that I have saved here. But if I want to get add-ins, I can click on this. You can add any of these plugins to my Excel. So this can be used to alongside with my Excel. Alright? Okay. Depending on the kind of um, version you're using, you're using a free version or a uh, paid version. For me, I'm using a paid version. I'm using a paid Excel version. So I can pretty much put a lot of these things here. So I have recommended charts. Let's say we have like we have a data and we don't know which chart is going to be put for it. We can use recommended charts. But right now all we have is this we don't have any numbers attributed to it. So it pretty much any make any sense to create any as I have blanks here. Mm -hmm. And we have different visualizations, including uh, a geographical map. We have pivot charts, which can be used, which can be created from the pivot table we talked about. Pivot table is the summary of our data. So if you want to create the visualization for that summary, you can click on pivot chart. And it will automatically pick what your data for you. Excuse me, you are breaking. Okay. Oh, what about now? No, no longer. No, 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 no. Okay. So if you pick 
pivot chart it will create a pivot chart from the pivot table that you've created so we have slicer and time is not active because this is not a complete data set so we're gonna look at that later we have no comments you want to collaborate with other people and want them to know where you've been at the particular place you can add a comment here so we have text box header so you want to add a text on your screen you can use the text box you want to add a header and footer such that when you go to other pages you can always see that header and footer there so basically a lot of people use header and footer on microsoft word also yeah. So much on Python, Excel, worksheets. Then you have your text format also here. You can decide to create a title that will have a shadow, grid view, and all of that. Okay. Then you have yeah. applications. You can put in your own application, or you can use any of this already created in your application. So draw, you can make your drawings, page layout. This is used when you already completed what you want to do and you want to um, add a little bit of format to it. Like this. Uh, doesn't have blue. Yes, doesn't have what? Yeah. What did you say? I said my best in my Excel version doesn't have blue. Blue. Do not have blue. We draw option uh, after instead. Does it have draw? Okay, this one. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna show you how to do that in a minute. Just give me a second. So okay. formulas, area formulas, data. Okay. So you can pick uh, you can get any of the formulas here. They are being divided as uh the the concept they represent logical text, bit format, look of reference, math and truth, more functions. We have data, which is used to import data into your current group. You can import data here. And these are the kinds of data that you can import. You can import um, a database, an Excel file, a CSV file. You can connect to a database. You can launch power query so basically the power query is the kitchen house of power bi and excel let me talk about power bi later so you can also add a picture so you can let's say you have an excel file in a picture format you can add it here you can snap mm -hmm. the picture and then you put it the excel automatically turns it into an, uh, an excel table so you have stocks and currency here we have um, arranging that's such that text to column. So let's say we have um arrangement area, I guess. So you can decide to break this text into an and then another one and other one. So come to text to column, click on it. So this is an right? So go to yeah. next. So it's going to ask me what separates an item from a dollar. I'm going to say space. I'm going to mm -hmm. click this. So now it's going to tell me, okay, now there's a space between an item and a dollar. So I'm going to put that space. So that's it. But if it's a comma, you have to pick a comma. But this is not a comma, this is a space. So we go to next. So now it's telling me that this is going to be one column. This is going to be another column. Mm -hmm. I agree. So, say finish. so you can see now that that is now being speeded into a little and a little. Okay? Yes. So we have remove duplicates, so you should remove the duplicates in your cell. We have data validation, which is used to ensure that the user inputs what they are supposed to input. We're going to look at data validation uh, very soon. And then we have the what if scenario, which I also going to take a look at. Uh, group in, you can group your text according to what you have in the column in common. Then I'm going to go to review where you can add a little bit of functionality 
your workplace statistics, your local function, you can have the comments, you can show all comments, you can put the notes, you can protect your worksheet or protect your work. So if you could look at it in this way, when you protect your worksheet, you only want one worksheet that for this password. But when you protect your entire workbook, you won't be able to open the workbook unless you have the password. So you can put your file in read, read, read only file and you can also add restricted access. So to add restricted access, you have to um, do some system configuration there. So we this basically gives you in thank you. Sorry? Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll do it. I'm also trying thank to keep track of the time. So this now is um how the data will look like. You can you can manipulate this. You have face panel, mm -hmm. you have top row, you have face for so I'm gonna look at this when we import data into this space. So you have micros, which is also used to, to record your steps in Excel. You have um, automate, which also you can be used to record your actions. You have developer option. You have the video where you can write your code in Excel and other stuff. So if you have, if, if you intend to create a dashboard on Excel, you can use some of those. Your button, your combo box, your logo, your check box and all of us to create a uh, an entire tip dashboard so before we proceed we have any question are you there 